Generative AI is weaving its way into our business processes, and people are getting more and more used to those chat-based AI experiences and are coming to expect those to be baked into their business apps. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to build a modern power app that has an AI chat-based experience with some help from Copilot Studio. So I had this simple app that I built in Power Apps actually using Copilot to build it that helps my users submit travel requests. But what if we wanted to extend this application and instead of just letting them submit a travel request, giving them a chat-based experience where they can ask questions about the places that they're going, maybe get relative important information like what the visa policies are and things like that. Well, that's where we can add in generative AI through Copilot. So we can actually harness not only the power of Power Apps and what it's good at for being able to give us a quick way to enter data, see data, and have an application-based experience, and the power of Copilot Studio, which gives us the ability to create our own custom Copilots to chat over data and have that more chat-based experience. So if you go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com, this is where you can build your own custom Copilots. And you can even build a Copilot using Copilot to describe what you want, or you can start from a template. So one of the relevant templates that are here is actually this safe travels template, which will pair really well with that travel request application that I built, because this is giving us a co-pilot that can help answer travel related questions. Things like health and safety guidelines, visa policies, and all of that. And it already has knowledge provided for the US travel website, but I can extend this and add additional knowledge here for any other public websites that I have or even internal websites as well. So if I wanted it to have knowledge about European travel, I could copy the European travel website, enter that into our co-pilot, click add, and now this will have all of that knowledge as well. Now, I've already built a copilot using that template right here, April's Safe Travels Copilot, and it has all the knowledge of the US and European travel websites built in. So, right here in Copilot Studio, we can test it. I can ask this copilot things like, what are the travel guidelines for someone traveling from the US to Europe? And it can go and get that information from those knowledge sources that we provided to the copilot. Now, I could go and publish this copilot to say Microsoft Teams or even a website, and users can access it that way. But what would make the best user experience here is if I could embed this copilot directly in that Power App. And it's actually really simple to do that. So now that we have this Copilot built and we've tested it and made sure that it's returning the results we want, all we have to do if we want to integrate this into our Power App is go back to our app and go to the settings by clicking on these three dots in the toolbar and clicking on the settings menu. And when you go to settings now, this is a new experience that's here. You'll see we have a section for Copilot. Now this is in preview right now, so be mindful of that, that you'll have to have a preview environment and all that turned on to be able to see this. But this is a very powerful new functionality that is letting you bind your Power App to a particular Copilot in Copilot Studio so that your end users have a native built-in Copilot that they can use. And how this works is it gives you a drop down where it shows you all of the different copilots you have. So a few things to know about when you're using this feature. One, it's only going to show you the copilots that are in the same environment that you're in. And the other big thing here is it's only going to show you copilots that you have went through the publishing process on. So if you built a copilot, tested it out, but never actually clicked that publish button, it won't show up in this drop down either. So it has to be copilots in the same environment that have been published. Now I do see the one that we were just looking at, which is April's Safe Travels Copilot. So I can click on that and now that's bound to my application. So the only thing I have to do to push this out and make it available to anyone using this Power App is to publish the Power App. So I'll click on that publish button in the upper right hand corner, give the app a name because this is the first time that I'm publishing it and we'll click save. Now that we've bound our application to the Copilot in Copilot Studio and published it, we can go back to make.powerapps.com and run the application as an end user to see what this experience looks like. So here's our Safe Travels app. So we'll click play on that. And to enable your app Copilot, you'll click on this Copilot icon in the upper right hand corner. And this will actually open up the Copilot panel and you should see a familiar welcome message here because it's the same welcome message that we have when we're tested the Copilot in Copilot Studio. So that's showing you that this is pulling that Copilot from Copilot Studio and making it natively available inside of our Power App for our end users. Now, anything that I can do on that Copilot, I can do right here from my application. So if I'm an end user and I wanna know what the visa policy is for the US, I can get those quick answers without having to go open another tab and search for that information. It really elevates the user experience and functionality of your applications in one simple step. 
So hopefully you see the value of combining Power Apps and Copilot Studio and giving your end users a way to chat over data like this and have this chat-based experience in your app. I really believe this is the future of applications and people will come to expect these integrations more and more in the apps that they use. So it's good to get a little bit ahead of the game and start integrating this into the applications that you built. Now there might be a little bit of a training element to this as well as you start to roll out some of these Copilot experiences. This is a little bit tucked away in the end user experience so they might not think to click on that Copilot button and even know what exactly it does. So just sending out some simple communication as you add these experiences into your applications, letting users know that it's there and what it can do for them will go a long way. Well, that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, do me a favor and click that subscribe button so you can be alerted for future videos. Before you go, check out some of these other videos on AI and the Power Platform.